Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded one of these, but I am still playing the game, I just haven't had as much time to make these videos. But I still want to make them from time to time, especially when I want to showcase something cool. In this case, it's my first flawless defense week in Vault of Heaven, so I thought that was pretty cool to showcase my defense results. But as always, uh, like I always like to do in these videos, we, we have an offense match to do, and if this goes well, it's also going to be my highest lift ever, uh, both on light and azure, because I, I actually score more on light, so since this is light season, it would automatically be my uh, highest score ever. Uh, hopefully it's not too hard, but uh, I have no rematch options because I went flawless, so uh, it's probably going to be pretty hard. Uh, but it just depends, so let's see how it goes. Uh, everything should be okay. Alright, a tier 38 player. And, um... Looking pretty nice. Uh, that's typical Elliewood Rally. I might just... Pause the video, I'm not sure yet, but... Just to caulk stuff out. Alright, so we have a rally on you, Nate. I... <laughs> it probably would be better if I did. Plus 10 all funds, okay. So, okay. So on first glance, it's, it's looking like uh, a Hector map. Alphonse is going to be a problem though. I can already tell. Uh, Triandra gives Elliewood attack tactic and speed tactic. Do I want the rally to happen? Uh, do I want the rally to happen? Is the question. Thinking maybe. Alright, so really quick, I'm just gonna call everything out, and we'll be back, and we're gonna clear it. Okay, let's do that. All right, so we're back here. Uh, like I thought, I'm gonna use the Hexer team, aka the Brainless team. So what I think is gonna happen is Elliewood is gonna rally Mia. He's going to get danced by Triandra because she's the furthest away. And then he's going to rally Yune because uh, he's going to do zero damage to Hector. So he chooses to rally Yune. He does not get danced by Eldigan because he has flyer formation uh, and not aerobatics. I think aerobatics is what he needed. Uh, after that, I don't know what attacks for. Pro probably Yune because she actually does damage. Yune attacks, Mia attacks, uh, Elliewood finally gets danced by Eldigan, and attacks Mia and lunges, uh, and doesn't charge his miracle. I actually want to go on turn 2, because... Uh, so that the Bolt Tower could possibly hit Alphonse on the third turn if he goes down left, right there. I don't know if he will. That's why I want all my units on the left side, so that he would choose to go here. Because I'm pretty sure he's chasing yeah, one of these three. So what are we going to do? We want to get all the buffs on Hector. Uh, so... Mila could go here. Peony could go there. And then air goes here. No, air. No, I can't put air there. Because Elliewood actually reaches that spot. I actually want an air on the left because... Because Alphonse might be after her. So how do we do this? We definitely want Hector in this spot. Do I actually need the defense tactic? Probably. And we definitely don't need the drive res. So Mila goes up. P 
región. The positioning here is what I am uh, struggling with. But maybe I don't need. You probably don't need the. I'm up next. The defense tactic. Go up. Because what I want to happen is that I want Peony to dance from here, to dance Miller from there. Um, because uh, Eliwood actually has a pretty nasty rally. It's going to give Yune 38 speed. And uh, she has an impact. So I actually want to be able to double through that impact. Which I can... I think exact double if Peony is here, giving Hector the the buffs. She's also Maybe. ally supported with Hector, so that's what happens. Um, let's see. I guess. Uh, I, I guess it is to stay on the right side. I, I didn't want that, but I guess she she does have to stay on the right side. All right, so that's fine. We can have her stay on the right side. Uh, hopefully with air. I mean, hopefully with Edelgard. If if um, if Alphonse goes straight down, hopefully with Edelgard, it's enough to kill. Alphonse. It's gonna be tough. This is a very strong Alphonse, by the way. Uh, you can't double him because he has his weapon and no follow-up. And times both with a one cooldown special, so it's pretty pretty cool. Alright, so let's do this then. You go here. Exactly. You do that. Dance and go here. And, um... I guess we do this here. Uh, so let's see if I'm correct. Rally on Mia. 300 dance. Rally on Yune. Mia attacks first. Okay. Yune attacks. Exact double. Ellie would dance. Ah, okay. So we went there. That's actually pretty good. Because... Well, or it would be good if I could reach him. But it looks like I can't. Also, he's going to get healed. So that kind of sucks. Uh, Peony is too far away from anything. Hmm. What do we do here? Alphonse is a problem. I really have to pause the video again just to figure this out. The choice is clear. And we're back once again. I am sorry for all these pauses. It it was not an easy match, but uh, I wasn't expecting an easy match. This Alphonse is crazy. I think if he had uh, a defensive A skill. It would be way harder. So we're gonna do this. Gonna actually dance air, so everyone actually gets the um, the ground order effect. So we're gonna do this, and now actually want to get Hector out of there, and I want to give the speed buff to air. So there we go. He's dead. Uh, now, Triander should attack me and die, right. and that's the end of the match. Honestly, it was pretty cool.
give all the buffs possible to uh, to air. So Triandra either attacks air or she attacks Edelgard. Obviously, if she attacks Edelgard, she's not going to have a great time. And there we go. Pretty uh, early win. Turn 4. I, I can get the pots, but I don't know if I want to, honestly. Hmm. Should we get the pots? It's... Or so... Peony can tank one hit from... Uh, especially during bonus season, so... I'm actually gonna do this. It'd be pretty cool to see which traps are... Real. So that's fake. That's fine. So he's definitely gonna attack Peony. Uh, 34 speed. Does not double her. I, I mean... Mm. Yeah. Why not? Very nice. Okay, so... Get the last pot. How do I check if the trap is... Ooh, like probably shouldn't, damn. Death's caress. Let's see. <laughs> that, okay. Good damage. So you kill. Uh, he has no vantage. So my thought was that this trap where he's standing on is the real one. But, uh, let's find out if I was right. Ready. Or not. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, not very damaging e either. And... Boop. Okay. Again, I'm sorry for all the pauses. But I didn't want to fail this one. I, I still have four ladders left, but... You know what it is. So, there we go. Tier 39. Perfect offense and perfect defense. And now, we'll go over our defenses, finally. Actually, it did lose once, but it was a rematch, and it didn't count, so... I guess you can't say that it was completely flawless. Starting from the bottom here, lots of Japanese players, as usual. And I guess first we have to talk about the, the defense team. So, uh, most important piece of the team, probably now, is definitely Felix. He's not fully merged. I definitely want to fully merge him eventually, but I don't have the, the grills yet. And that's because he has Farsi, which uh, is a very strong skill. The save skills are very strong. I think they should not have been made, but we're here now, so we have to deal with it. And speaking of that, the enemy is also using the save skill on offense. And on offense, those skills are very, very disgusting to deal with. So, uh, the rest of the team. So we have Eliwood. This is pretty standard Eliwood. I already used him before. Triandra, which I pulled for recently. I wanted her because she's a dancer. Uh, I was only using one dancer before, which is really bad on light. Because Mila exists. Uh, we're using our duo Lin here. I already had one copy, but I merged the free one that we got into her. And, uh, I mean, she performed pretty well, so I'm... I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. I'm happy because I like Lin, and using her on defense like this is pretty cool. She's using Wind Sweep, uh, mostly to counter uh, Hector's, Edelgard's, stuff like that. It's an annoying skill if you're not ready for it. Uh, here we're using Eldigan, very strong dancer on light. Uh, very strong dancer in general because he can use Grand Orders and uh, Air Orders and stuff like that. I Usually this seal is supposed to be HP Defense too. Uh, as you can see, he has Sudden Panic, so his HP is actually pretty low for Sudden Panic. But I, ha I had to use Air Orders to give Yune um, the Ground Orders effect, if you will. And Yune here, plus 4. It's her bonus season, I wanted to try to include her in the team. And this is pretty much what I came up with. Uh, I guess it worked. I was not expecting this to work. I thought this was pretty uh, garbage team, but... Uh, Lance Breaker to deal with Hector, again, I think he's... 
definitely one of the units you have to prepare against the most sadly. He's just very strong. And as you can see the first defense has Hector, so let's see what it does. And um, yeah, so pay attention to this isolate on tree and this is actually pretty important uh, in the future. Uh, he has Henriette in the middle with far save, so she is going to pretty much far save everyone. Uh, very uh, very good skills that should have been definitely been made. So we have a rally from Yune because she definitely cannot do more than five to Henriette. Felix here, uh, blue unit actually <laughs> does nothing to Henriette, but it's enough with bonfire to chip her down. And Yune kills Hector because Henriette is dead and can't force save him. So that's the first replay happened very fast, but uh, Lin thankfully got the kill. On Henriette, my team was actually pretty heavily nerfed because of uh, Sabotage attack lowering everyone's attack by by 7. I, I mean, you kind of have to deal with that on defense because people will use that skill on their Millas. I personally don't use it on my Milla because uh, it activates Restore Traps and I'm not about to deal with, <laughs> with Restore Traps, I'm sorry. So, second replay, we have a Milla unmerged. Freya also unmerged and uh, showing a bonus, I believe. Then we have uh, plus nine Leon here. Pretty cool. Actually, a very popular Vault of Heavens. Uh, Hero feels like everyone has a Leon in Vault of Heavens. And uh, Dual Leaf with a Rally Defense. Obviously, not the most optimal skill, but um, let's see what he does. So he tries to bait Lin. Uh, Leon is actually not that bad of a counter to this team because. Uh, well, the threads in my team are like Yune, Lin, and Felix. And, and as you can see, Felix kind of does no damage. But uh, I guess it's just too much pressure for him after. So he surrenders. Or maybe he just didn't want to lose a unit. Since you have to go uh, flawless on offense to get the extra 10... Is it 10 points? The extra points. Again, Mila... Uh, yeah, as you can see, even in the vault, <laughs> people don't really optimize their teams very well. Like, they keep rallies and, ugh, you know, no seals and stuff like that. So he rallies, tr tries to see if he can kill Lin, which obviously he can <laughs> normally, but uh, not w with Felix next to her. Far saving. Far saving is a... Uh, on defense is the skill that people usually use to deal with uh, other ninja lins. Ninja lin is a very strong offense hero, but uh, I'm glad I could make her work on defense as well, because I do not use her on offense, nor do I want to. So finally, he decides to bait with with the Salif here, and even though my HP is so low, it's supposed to be 66 right now. Uh, everyone actually gets hit by by sudden panic and gets panicked except for Shinon because he's solo anyway no rally happens well because she's isolated right but Lin just kills and the rest is history I guess uh, that also happens so that's kind of cool air orders very underrated skill by the way air orders people don't usually check for it as you can see it doesn't really do much damage and I just want to mention this bow is really cool uh, the guard effect is actually pretty nice. Especially against, like I said, Ninja Lin. Who usually wants to hit hit you with like... A mo Which one was that? That was the second one, right? No, that was, that. <laughs> that was the third one. Usually he wants to hit you with a moon bow or... A special, pretty much glimmer, ruptured sky. But that stops it, so... Anyway, 4-3 play. We got... Only one mythic, decently merged. Julia, uh, two duos. There, there, there it is. Lin with the Zorn Trap. Typical build for Lin. And let's see what he does. A lot, a lot of these replays I uh, already forgot. Here my Yune is uh, tactic, but air orders. Let's her still do the rally. So pretty cool. Alright, lots of people getting panicked. Actually, everyone in this team gets panicked. Because they don't have that much HP. 
can't kill my uh, Felix. And now he now finally kills my Felix. Gambles a trap, kills my Lin. Here, actually kills my Eldigan. And doesn't use the dual skill. This is what I didn't understand because maybe there's, there was just no way to avoid that. And I, I'm pretty sure there wasn't, but he could have at least used the dual skill on, on Lin. So Eliwood goes in. Gale forces. My quick and pulse still is actually pretty good against those mages that can't counter you. As you saw, we gale forced off of Mikaya because of, of the quick and pulse. I guess it's still trying. Not really. Uh, Yuni is still tactic. Not okay. Not anymore because <laughs> yeah. Eliwood destroyed it. Very fast Eliwood because double speed mythics right here. They're both still alive. And uh, he's going for it. Even with ladders. And I guess didn't want to get the last kill because it was just too much lift wasted. Alright, next replay. We got Fjorm on light. This is pretty rare to see. We got the Mythics, Freya and Peony with plus one merges. Uh, Sheeta and finally Guinevere. Uh, she's a pretty good Mythic, I mean, a hero. On offense, especially against uh, IP teams, she's just, just well, just mage teams in general. Uh, AR defense teams have a lot of mages usually, so she's pretty good against a lot of them. I guess he's checking the damage. One cool thing, or I guess bad thing, <laughs> if you're playing against it, of far safe skills that you can't check the combat result. Uh, for example, if if she wanted to attack Eldigan. She would see the combat result against Felix and not Eldigan. And, and that's just kind of sucks sometimes. Anyway, gamble the trap. Uh, obviously, I put the one under Lynn as the real one because I, I think she's the key target to take down. She's my only duo in this team. And the uh, team kind of just goes off after, which is kind of cool to see. Obviously, Peony by herself can't do anything. And he surrenders. Okay. Next one. This is pretty cool replay. Uh, plus 10 air, plus 2 peony, so very high scoring player. Uh, I think this is a Forma Lucina, yep. And a neutral, or rather, sorry, a unmerged, unmerged Hector. Summoner supported. Plus attack minus res. Uh, it'd be pretty cool if he got one merge to fix that. Minus plus one. Also plus attack again. Yeah. It's really nice. So this Hector is obviously very supported by this team. He has uh, LS support with Corrin. And Lucina is also giving him a lot of support. What does she have? So, okay, joint drive attack and distant guard. And double drive res here. So yeah, this is very supported Hector. What he does is that he puts him on top of the the fortress. This usually would work. But air orders on land. Here we go. The rally happens. The dance happens. And then Lin goes in. Actually, there's no damage. But it doesn't matter because now she can get danced and actually attack Lucino. So one of the supports is down. Now Felix goes in, hits him with a bonfire, and dies. Hector's just disgusting. Uh, and then uh, Yune actually kills him. <laughs> so that's cool. Lancebreaker Yune paying off. And finally, or not finally, but my, my only failure this week, unless I got, okay. My only failure this week, a rematch. And uh, yeah, so here we go. This is team. So Summoner supported Gustav, Summoner supported Enriette, they're both unmerged, uh, the Mythics, plus one air, and we got a lane here, not even disarm trap, but this is what I'm talking about, these skills, by the way, uh, double distant guard here, and double close guard here, uh, these skills are, in my opinion, pretty bad, because they allow for, for bad players, I'm not saying this person is a bad player, but uh, they just 
allow you to be bad at positioning. And I don't like that. Uh, here, Henriette is far saving everyone. You're pretty safe here. So my Yune, here's what happens. Because these two are not isolated this time, Yune can't do any damage to Henriette, obviously. And because she doesn't do five or more, she's going to rally again. Felix can jump over Yune to attack Peony here. Because of that, he has an attack target, a combat with Peony, which makes Yune go up there and rally him. And he loses the attack target on Peony, which would be obviously a combat against Henriette. Uh, Lin attacks, does no damage. Actually, she heals the full. Henriette, and finally, Felix can jump over Elliewood, but it's too late now. He actually has some trouble dealing with, with the team after, because Felix is actually kind of tanky. And, uh, yeah, this is a bit annoying here. So, Gustav gets lunged out of uh, range of Henriette, so he can't be far saved here. He actually survives with 4 HP. Which means that he would have died if, if he didn't have summoner support. And this, this is what I'm talking about. These skills just... <laughs> you can make mistakes and still be rewarded for it. Lin, I'm not sure I can. Like I'm confident that he didn't know that was going to happen. But if he did then... Congratulations. It's not even one of the nastiest teams you can make because... There are better armors for these skills. That's the sad part. These skills should not have been a thing. How many times can I say that? Alright, you you do your thing, Eldigan. Yeah, for <laughs> a maxed healing tower. On offense. I mean, that's, that's not a bad building to level up. I've seen some people with a maxed healing tower. There we go. And I'm dead. Okay. Next up, another rematch here. And this one, again, used Fallen Leon. This one is pretty cool. Because not that many merges. Because of this Ike here, as you can see, Leon doesn't even have a, a seal. But the Ike. He's actually fast enough to not get hit by a wind sweep. So he puts the units in position. Yune rallies and gets danced. Attacks. Leon already saw she survives because of air orders. So this is one of the situations where air orders <laughs> actually sucks. Kinda, but attacks Ike and dies. And then Elliewood goes completely right which this kind of sucked uh, if he went down here Felix could have jumped over and killed Peony but he went right because I, he's chasing air that kind of sucks I got hit by the bull tower so now it looks pretty hopeless I actually don't know how I won this one but I guess he just didn't have the tools to uh, kill Elliewood so Elliewood is gonna do his thing he's gonna gale force uh, Eldigan actually is very tanky. And Triana dies. Need 300 mergers. Oh. So, as you can see here, he can't kill me. Or double. He can't double me. Even with a lot of speed. And uh, Milak actually does zero damage to me. So, she just does that. Leon actually dies to a bonfire, which is pretty cool. A Gale Force off of Mila. Go back and kill Mila at this point. It's already a, a flawless or perfect defense because I only need to get two kills. Because I am using uh, Yune. Alright, next replay. We're almost done. We have finally a Winter Altina. I thought she would be more uh, popular, but I guess... Uh, Winter Felix here scares her. She, he does pretty well against her, to be fair, so... 
we have a plus two air, plus one peony, with a plumeria, and uh, no seal on air, so that kind of sucks. He's going for a turn one bait. I actually dances Altina so that I can be debuffed completely on my Lin. And something I want to mention here is that, so Yune rallies here, and usually she would be danced by 300 because he is the furthest away. But what I think happens here is that because Robin is threatening this square over here, Eldigan is the one that dances instead. You would think that Felix would just jump over it to kill Altina. Oh, by the way, everyone got hit by uh, sudden panic here. It doesn't matter for Altina because of her A. I mean, I guess it matters for her her defense stat because, as we're going to see, even debuffed, Lin kind of just blows her away. And, uh, yeah, Pulmer is strong. Yune can't really do anything against her. But <laughs> she doesn't die, so Ellie would actually activate skill force and kills two in one. And obviously surrenders. Finally, the defense replay that uh, made it so I knew that was going to go flawless on defense that I got today. We have a plus one Mila, uh, ally supported with Peony, interesting. And we have a plus ten air here, a plus two Tiki, but more importantly, we have a plus ten Lin. Now, obviously, the banner is out today, so I wonder if this person actually got the last copies of Lin today and then <laughs> did the match or if he already had her plus 10 before the um, the voting the top four banner so he obviously this team is supposedly good against a ninja Lin at plus 10 ninja Lin look everyone got uh, panicked here at plus 10 obviously he's pretty strong as, and with a bull tower even more so. So obviously he's going to wait for the bull tower. And going to go for the kills then. So he does the rally. F um, interesting. He actually has. He kept the rally. Didn't expect someone with a plus 10 air to keep a rally. On mill instead of like reposition or drawback. Or even smite. But he, he does have smite on air. Anyway, smites Lin, and actually doesn't even need to double Felix because of the ruse. So he's doing his thing. Uh, so that was kind of confusing to me, the fact that he didn't kill um, Lin. It can't have been a, a misclick, right? Because obviously Lin is very killable, so if he killed Lin, he would, be, he would have two duo skills to activate. And they're pretty much both like dances. So I, I don't know. I think this one, he could have won, but he didn't. That was very confusing. And he just surrenders after losing one unit. So yeah, actually, let me go back and see. I want to see if he could have won. Smite, kill, okay. Now you dance, then you kill Lin. You kill Lin, you activate this duo, you kill Eldigan, and then you, you can use this, right? Grants another action to ally with the highest HP that is within two spaces. Yeah, you can use you can totally use that, right? And then you run away. And then you just run away. Because Triandra is isolated, so she's not gonna dance anyone. Yeah, this feels like a misplay. Uh, but we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, he, he, uh, he could only do that because of the bull tower anyway. But, or, or maybe not. Maybe uh, my Felix wouldn't be able to one-shot in return. 
I know he would have survived if he was full HP, but would he one shot? Lin is not very tanky, but Maya Felix is not very strong either. Yeah, 32 defense with 60 HP. Probably would not be able to. But anyway, so that's it for the defense replays. Pretty long video. Uh, that uh, the offense matches took up so much time and uh, we got all the rewards here so crappy flowers rank pretty decent flowers flyer and the tier tier 39 200 lift leeway there so that's kind of cool and uh, yeah next week is gonna be pretty interesting I have this year so <laughs> Uh, that's nice. I'm gonna have a bonus mythic on defense. Always nice to have. If if you have the bonus mythic on defense, I probably would recommend just trying to include them. Because there's always gonna be people that just suicide a unit or, or still try to finish a match after losing a unit. And then you're gonna have to deal with a, a minus 40. Uh, and that never feels good. And obviously, if you get aced, which can happen in the vaults, that's like a minus 60. I'm just assuming no merges, obviously. But as you as you saw, there's still a lot of players that don't really care about it. So it's it's interesting that they're so high up, but they still don't care. I thought the vault was going to be full of very good players, but it just ended up being pretty much the same as down there in tier 28. Obviously, sometimes you find uh, better quality matches, but I would say 60% or more are still kind of crappy matches. But, yeah. Next week, we're going to use... What team was it again? I have so many teams, because I was just, <laughs> I was just trying so much stuff to see what worked. Uh, this team. And hopefully it does well. But I don't have Sarah, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, if if I go flawless with this team, I'll probably make another video on it, but I, I doubt it. Anyway, I've rambled for far too long, so thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, good luck on your AR matches, if you're still doing them. And have a great day and stay safe.